So, Cindy jumped on my bed. <laughs> She's not allowed to do that, but for some reason, I feel like I'm gonna allow it for a minute or two. Then I'm gonna make her get off. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like, she just worked really hard to help me film this video and, <laughs> and I wanted to give her just, you know, a little bit of Cindy time. So I guess she's uh, breaking the guide dog rules just, just a little bit. <laughs> anyway, hello everyone. I have been absent for a very long time, but I'm trying to get back to you guys now. The last year has been a lot of moving and just a lot of things going on. Cindy is also dealing with some medical issues, which I think I'm gonna outline in a later video when we have some more answers on that. Now, I've seen a lot of people asking a lot of questions about this really nice vest right here. This is called a Roughwear Swamp Cooler, and it is a cooling vest. Now, for those of you who don't know, a cooling vest is made to keep your dog cooler, as the name suggests, but it does it in a very interesting way. Dogs do not have sweat glands like humans do, except in their paws. So normally, how they regulate their temperature is through panting or sweating through their paws. And it gets a lot harder when you put shoes on your dog's feet to keep their feet safe from the hot asphalt because that is keeping that sweat in and not allowing it to evaporate properly and they're gonna get even hotter. So this ingenious invention came about to help your dog cool off in a way that is more like how humans cool off. So what you do is you get this vest wet with water. You either put it under the sink or you have a bucket of water you soak it in. You might soak it in the bathtub. You might just put water on it with a hose. However you do it, you want it to get very wet. And what it does is as that water evaporates from this vest, which the vest is designed to do, we'll go over that in a minute, is that it actually draws the heat out of the dog as water does when it evaporates. The energy of water evaporating does draw heat out of the skin. This is science. And that is why this vest is known to help dogs cool off. One other thing the vest does is it only comes in this light color. That is so it can actually reflect sunlight instead of absorbing it. Darker color dogs do tend to get hotter because their coats absorb heat. They don't reflect it like lighter color dogs. So this vest also helps with reflecting sunlight and helping them absorb a little bit less of that heat. I found a lot of guide dog handlers especially, but this is also for pet owners or anyone who is interested. But a lot of guide dog handlers have been very interested in this vest because of a multitude of reasons. We are getting into the summer months now and it's getting very hot outside. You don't want your dog to be too hot or overheat and you also want them to be comfortable. Something that's coming up here in Las Vegas is the NFB National Convention. Now that is the largest gathering of people who are low vision or blind in the entire world. We are expecting to have about 4,000 people and anywhere from 150 to 300 guide dogs. And that means that there's gonna be a lot of dogs in this hotel or convention center, and it's gonna be hot. And a lot of people are interested in how they keep their dogs cool in Las Vegas. This has been one of my biggest helps, guys. I have been using this for oh, the past few months, and it is amazing. I love it, love it, love it. Before I got this vest, I did use a, some cheaper versions of cooling vests, and they do not compare to this one. I mean, they help a little bit, but if you want something that's really good quality, I absolutely recommend the Swamp Cooler. It actually has layers designed to help with cooling. For example, the outer layer of this vest is like a meshy material, and it helps both with the reflection of sunlight, as I said, and also with the evaporation. The middle layer of this vest is meant to absorb the water and keep it in as long as it can so that this vest stays wet as long as possible. Now I will tell you when I've been using this vest, the top does tend to dry out the fastest of course because the sunlight is directly hitting it. So I might give it 20 minutes in like hard direct sunlight before the top is pretty dry and you might want to re-wet it, maybe bring a water bottle and pour some water on it. Um, but even if the top dries out, the bottom stays really cool for about two hours I found. So even if you can't rewet the top, still having this on and having the bottom help with their bellies is really nice. Now the middle layer is a bit more smooth. It's not as mesh-like as the top. And I can even tell you by putting one hand on the outer layer and one hand on the inner layer, this inner layer is much cooler than the outer layer. It is actually a material designed to get very chilled when it is wet, when you have things evaporating on it. It just gets cooler faster. 
So this is what is directly in contact with your dog's skin, and it is what is going to keep them coolest. It works really well for Cindy and I. Now, we are out, of course, in Las Vegas. We're out in the sun a lot. The rule of thumb is you don't want to be in direct sunlight or in temperatures above 90 for very long. You want to go inside where it's cool, but you know, you can't help going from the car to the store. Sometimes you do have a minute or two of walking between buildings. Sometimes you're even out for about 10 minutes if you're doing some longer walks in the summer. You do not want to be out really much longer than 10 minutes in 90 plus degree temperatures, especially with harsh sunlight like here in the desert. But I have found when I'm using this, and it's about 90 degrees, we can go on walks like early in the morning and go on walks for a good little while, at least half an hour, and my dog isn't panting. Before this vest, Cindy would pant very hard after about 10 minutes in moderately hot temperatures above 90. Even in the early morning, even when the sun isn't fully up yet in the sky, it just gets so hot here that she would start panting and I would actually get a little worried about overheating so we wouldn't do as much walking as we probably should have here in the summers unless we were indoors. Now with this vest, I can testify Cindy does not pant like she used to. You know, when she would normally start panting after about 5 to 10 minutes of walking, it now takes 20 to 30 minutes for her to start panting and it's not as harsh panting. It's not like I'm overheating panting, it's just like, you know, I'm warm. So this vest absolutely makes her feel better. I can tell in a heartbeat she just feels awesome with it on it and I'm so happy that it makes her comfortable. Also, for those of you who are guide dog users, this vest does fit underneath the harness. So you may have to loosen your harness a buckle if it is tight fitting. And I'm talking about the typical American style harnesses that are leather. I actually have a harness which I'm gonna outline in a video coming soon to you um, from Julie Johnson. It is called the Sports Style Harness and is by On The Go. That harness is too well fitting for this vest to go underneath it. So that is something to keep in mind. If your harness is extremely well fitting, like right up to the body, it's not gonna fit, but the typical American style leather harness will fit. I think if you can fit three fingers underneath your harness pretty easily um, between the harness and the dog's skin, it is going to go underneath that. It isn't very thick. It's, I'd say, less than a centimeter thick. So it's definitely gonna fit most dogs under their harnesses for those working dogs. How the vest works. So, the vest is interesting. It has a opening for the head and it has two clips on either side. So, you want to have the harness unclipped originally, so you unclip both sides. Then, you're going to put this head opening around your dog's head and push their head through. Then you take the chest piece, which is hanging down right now, but it has the two clips on the side. You put it underneath their chest, and then you clip it behind their legs. It actually clips a little behind where the harness sits. The belly section of this vest goes to about the end of a dog's rib cage. So it does reach a significant portion of your dog's belly, which is really nice because, again, as I said, I find that keeps the dog cooler. But yes, it does clip behind the harness, so these clips are not going to get in the way of the harness clips, which are very nice. I've also had a lot of people a little concerned because they're not sure if the vest is going to fit their dog or not. Uh, Rough Wear does come in a variety of sizes, from extra small to extra large. This is a medium sized vest. So this is what you're going to see for a lot of dogs. My dog is 55 pounds and this vest fits her very well. I believe most guide dogs are gonna fit between the medium and the large. All you have to do is measure their girth strap. It has instructions on the Rough Wear site, so if you are interested in a vest, go and look at those instructions, measure your dog's girth, which is of course where the normal belly strap of the harness is all the way around their back. So it's like a big circle of the largest part of your dog. And you wanna take those inches and just know how big their girth measurement is so that you know which vest to get. This vest fits very well. However, what I wanted to outline is that on the sides, you're going to see where the vest actually clips. There is a strap, a black strap, and these straps are in fact adjustable. So that's why the measurements are so broad. I believe the measurements are like 10 inches fits into one measurement, so you might have like 17 to 27 is one measurement. I can't remember the exact ones, but 
um, you are going to have the measurements in pretty broad spectrums and that is because you are able to adjust the jacket depending on your dog's size and get it to fit nicely. That is where these adjustable straps come in. You'll be able to feel but on the bottom section of the jacket where the belly strap is, that is where the adjustment part of the clips are. I think for the most part there's so many sizes that these best fit that you should be pretty good whatever you decide to get. Now one more thing I do want to say about this vest, which is unfortunate but I think you can't help it, is that it gets dirty. So we've used this vest a few times and every time we use it we do get it wet, which hopefully helps wash it a little bit. But you are going to see, like at the bottom here, it has some dirt or smudges or whatever you want to say on it. You really have to give it a good wash to get some of this stuff out and that can be a little difficult and it is because of the light color. Anything light colored is going to get dirty faster. And this is double the case true if you're going hiking or something like that or you know having your dog go on a run or doing something outdoorsy or working with a lot of sand and dirt. This vest is gonna get dirty, unfortunately. <laughs> it's, it's just gonna look dirty. I think it's a small price to pay for how well it works, but it is something to keep in mind. So that is my outline of the Rough Wear Swamp Cooler. It is great, I love it. I would highly recommend it, especially if you live somewhere hot. Even if it's not sunny out, I found that if I use it in the evenings when it's still really muggy and hot and just blech, this really works well, really keeps the dog cool. I, I really could not sing its praises more. Just note that it does have to be wet to be used. So especially when you first get it wet, it's gonna be a little drippy. And so if you're indoors, you really wanna squeeze it out well before you put it on your dog so you're not creating water puddles wherever you go. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, love the vest. Absolutely great product, especially for guide dog users, um, service dog users, or pets who are just going hiking and having fun. I love this thing. So a big thanks to Ruffwear for creating it. I do have some more Ruffwear products that I'm willing to review if you guys are interested, which would be the Vert jacket and the Beacon Light, as well as their Grip Truck shoes. So any of that kind of stuff, just let me know. But until then guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about this swamp cooler, please put them down below. I would be happy to answer them. And until next time guys, thanks so much.